We're used to going to a website for a business, a church, or a ministry and encountering its homepage. And generally speaking, a homepage is a glorified table of contents containing a lot of links to other information on that site. Well, you guessed it, in Logos, we have such a homepage that contains a lot of helpful links. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to customize this homepage for your specific needs. So take a look at my screen. You'll see that I've already opened my homepage. Homepage. If your home page is not open, remember all you have to do is click the home icon on the toolbar and the home screen will close or it will open. And keep this in mind that if you have a lot of things open on the screen, Bibles, commentaries, and so on, and you click the home icon, the home screen is just going to lay on top of what you already have open. It's not going to close anything. So specifically, let's look at this home page and you'll notice there are two major sections. At the top, we have something called the dashboard. We'll come back to that. And then at the bottom, we have this large area called Explore. And Explore contains all of these info cards. And these cards will take us to a variety of places. It could take us to some information within our library. It could take us to a Logos blog. It could take us almost anywhere. So how do we customize this Explore section? You'll notice to the right of the Explore section, there is a sprocket icon. Go ahead and click on that and you will see categories of cards. For example, at the top, community pricing, excerpts, and on down the list we go. So you just need to spend some time here familiarizing yourself with these categories of cards, and then you check or uncheck what you want, and then you have an explore section customized specifically for your needs. Now, let me coach you just a little bit. I encourage you to keep the excerpt section on because Logos will randomly pull out a paragraph, a page from an article in a book in your library. And so you may come to your home page and see this excerpt and say, hey, I didn't know I had that book in the library. So it's a good way, a random way though, to familiarize yourself with what's in your library. And also make sure you have checked on, I currently don't, but the Logos blog. This is how Logos communicates with us. And so rather than going outside of your software to go to the Logos blog page, Logos brings the blog right here to you. So customize the explore section for your liking and each day when you start Logos and click on the home icon then your home screen will generate with all of these explore cards but now let's get to the dashboard at the top the dashboard is where you have some very helpful links to take you quickly into a variety of types of Bible study and so I'm going to coach you just a little bit here you'll notice to the right of dashboard there is a plus icon go ahead and click on that and then we we have a menu with a lot of categories of dashboard cards. So I want you to click on the one called Daily Devotional. Daily Devotional. And then there is a window listing all of your calendar devotionals. So let's say you like starting your software and then immediately reading a daily devotional. Well, this will place a card on your dashboard. All you have to do is click that card and you'll be taken to your daily devotional. So I'm going to click in the find box here and type the word utmost. I like Oswald Chambers, my utmost for his highest. So I'm going to check that one. And then in the lower right, click add. And notice we have just added a dashboard card that will take us to that daily devotional. So put your favorite daily devotional there. If you want two or three, you certainly can. Now let's click on the plus sign again. And this time I want you to select layout. Click layout. We're going to learn all about layouts in upcoming tutorials, but for now, I want you to find under Quick Start Layouts, Bible and Commentary. Bible and Commentary, and click Add, and you'll notice another dashboard card has been added to the dashboard. And this card is going to take us to a predefined layout that will open our preferred Bible and our preferred commentary. And I'll show you how to utilize that in an upcoming tutorial. So do you see what the dashboard is all about? The more you learn about the software, the more dashboard cards you can put there, and they will quickly take you to the various types of Bible study that you want to be involved in.